This is the Report Writer tutorial. It covers how to use the Report Writer in the program. The Business Valuation Report Writer is the optional add-on Report Writer that allows you to automatically create standard-based reports quickly and easily from the program data files. There are a number of ways to create reports. The first way is from the Home tab. If you go down to the Reports section on the Home tab, you can open an existing report, start a new report, or review a sample report. You can also create a report directly from the Report tab. Select Report, New, Report. One thing to keep in mind with the Report Writer is that the Report Writer will always pull data from the Analysis tab. In other words, whatever analysis file you have open is the data that will be linked to the written report. Let's create a report and see how this process works. If you go Report, New, Report, you'll see the list of reports that are available. The Report Writer comes with two templates. They're both over 200 pages and contain all of the analysis and explanations of everything you may have done in your project. For this example, let's select the 5960 template and select OK. A File Save dialog will appear. Save the file and the report will automatically be created. The workbooks will be prepared and then the report will be generated. Once the report's created, you'll notice a couple of things. There's helper text throughout the report. This text helps you understand the section of the report that you're looking at and the kinds of things that you should think about and the kinds of assumptions you might want to make. Also, there's cells, ranges, and charts that are linked. They all have chevrons before and after them. The little blue chevrons before and after the links let you know that this data is coming from the analysis file. The created report is based on a template that's over 200 pages long, but all of the text that's not appropriate is left out. So what you're left with is a report that contains text that exactly matches the engagement that you just performed, or all of the data in the Analysis tab. This makes standardizing and automating valuation reports very easy. Let's review the menus in the Report tab. Under Report, you can create a new report or a new template, and we encourage you to watch the Creating Templates video. This will help you create your own templates, either based on existing templates or your own Word documents for the Report Writer. The Open menu allows you to open both reports and templates. You can close the existing report, or you can save them. You can use Page Setup, which just brings up Word's Page Setup dialog, or you can print the file. There's also a most recently used list that allow you to quickly open files that were previously opened. Under the Edit menu, we have Edit Directly in Word. This allows you to bring up the report in Word by itself. The next item in the Edit menu is Paste Link into Report. Remember, for that link to be active, you have to copy a cell, a range, or a chart from the Analysis Workbook first. Select a cell, range, or chart, and select the Copy button. When you do that, and go back to the Report tab, the Edit Paste Link into Report will be activated. Let's see how this command works. If you select Paste Link into Report, you'll notice that the link was pasted with the chevrons before and after the data. The next command is Update Commands. This will refresh all the links in your document, all the numbers, tables, and graphs. Previous command will take you to the previous command in the document. In other words, the command with chevrons before and after it. Next will take you to the next command. Go to Link Data will take you to the Excel spreadsheet where the data is pointing to in the document. Delete Current Command will delete the command that the cursor is in. Insert File is only available when you're in Template Mode. In Template Mode you can insert an Insert File command. Insert Optional Content will allow you to select optional content from the original template that the report was created from and insert it in your document. Under the View menu, you can turn commands on or off. In other words, the blue chevrons are the commands. If you don't want to see the chevrons, you can turn them off. Obviously, when you're printing a final report, you also want to turn them off. Helper text are the yellow areas in the report that help you understand what that section of the report is for and give you some ideas about how to deal with it. You can turn helper text on and off. You can also turn the navigator on and off by using the View Navigator button. You can collapse the navigator by pressing the small triangle at the top of the navigator. 
Under Tools Options, you can set all the options for the program. Preview optional content is only available when you're editing a template. Remove all helper text actually takes the helper text out of the document. Once you remove it, you can't get the helper text back. Manage Workbooks allows you to manage the workbooks associated with the report. The default workbook is the analysis file that you're using. However, you can add as many Excel workbooks as you want to pull data into the report from. This dialog will help you manage that list. Let's review the toolbar buttons. The first one is create a new report, the second one is open a report, then save and print. You can use the Word icon to edit the report directly in Word without the program framework. The next one is paste cell command into the report. You can click the drop down arrow to see a number of sub options. The next option is update commands, previous command, next command, and go to link data. You'll notice that the Word menus are also available, although some of them are disabled. For some of the disabled menu items, you want to use the report writer menus. For example, file new, open, close, save, and save as. Remember, if you have more than one workbook that you want to link into your report, use the workbooks tab to add them. And then from the report tab, you can link numbers, tables, and charts from any number of Excel workbooks that are contained in the workbooks tab. The Library tab allows you to organize any number of clips that you can easily copy and paste into your report. We encourage you to watch the Library video for more details. This is the end of the Report Writer tutorial.